So this past Sunday was Wales Comic Con. Uh, it was held at Wrexham this time for the first time in a few years. And um, us at Simple Gacha Studios, we managed to get press passes. And that meant a whole bunch of great opportunities. One of those brilliant opportunities was getting to meet up and have a nice interview with Mark Silk. Now, the rest of the interviews are still being edited and will be up in a video probably in a couple of days. But for now, just to keep it, you know, keep, keep it cool. Here is our amazing interview with Mr. Mark Silk himself. So it's Ben here and I'm here with Mark. Hey Ben, how are you doing? I'm good, thank Big you. fan of your work. <laughs> really? Well, not always. Yeah. We love Ben. Yeah. Wow. Um, so first, can you just tell me what a character you voice if I might know? Yeah, I'm, I'm a voice actor, so I, I voice. There's a great show called Go Jetters, so I'm the voice of Grandmaster Glitch at your service. <laughs> I work with a really nice man called George Lucas on Star Wars Episode One, so I'm the voice of a guy called Axmo. So he's in the Senate scene, so you, he'll he'll pop up and you hear him say, "The Congress of Malice, I concur with the right to honourable delegate for the Trade Federation. A commission must be appointed now. Where's Ben?" <laughs> uh, he, he says exactly that. For three years over here in the UK. Um, like it's me that you'd hear as the voice of Johnny Bravo. Oh, mama, he's got a cool hair like you, Ben. So you got that. There's a uh, there's stacks of games. There's uh, there's a great game called Two Point Hospital uh, that came out a few years ago, and I'm like all over that. I'm the radio presenter in that. So I'm the voice of uh, Ricky Hawthorne in the morning on Two Point Hospital, and Sir Nigel Bickleworth, who sees anyone other than myself as absolute scum. And there's a bunch of other people. And there's Two Point Campus that just came out last week. There's Danger Mouse, Thunderbirds, Star Wars, loads of games, uh, Pingu. Oh, I, there's, there's, there's loads. And look at this. Just come in here a second. Just look at this. So this is behind the scenes at Comic-Con. So this is what it looks like when you're at a table signing for Comic-Con. But, but we're coming out here now. We're coming out here now, dear viewer. <laughs> Because because we want the sound to be even better for this video. You can probably... so, the, so yeah, so so that's what we're gonna do there. So that <laughs> so, what, trick, go with that. <laughs> so yeah, so so what else can I tell you then? Uh, so I was gonna ask, like, so you've done so many characters. Do you think any of your characters like get on and just put them in the room together? Oh that's a good question. Oh that's, I like the idea. Yeah, I think so. I think uh I think Grandmaster Glitch, who is uh, a bit of a naughty tinker. I think he would get on very well with Axmo because they are very powerful people at the same time. Grandmaster Glitch is really just silly. I think you stick them all in a room, I think absolute carnage would happen. I think Pingu would just get on with everyone. Yeah, yeah. I think he would. Yeah, I think he would. <laughs> um, the other one. So, is there any like famous or existing cartoon character that you ever take up and up and up and up? Oh, it's kind of weird because, oh my god, it would be such pressure. The, well, well, I grew up as a massive fan of Scooby Doo. So, because uh, that, uh, there was a brilliant voice actor called Don Messick, and he was the original voice of Scooby Doo. Yeah, you come in, Ben. She's giving just saying, she's doing you this. can't get you both she's, in. She's doing this thing saying, Ben, come in. So, I grew up as a huge fan of Scooby Doo, uh, and Scooby Doo started before we were alive. So, there's a great guy called Don Messick. It was a brilliant voice actor, and I got, and he was the original voice of Scooby Dooby Doo. <laughs> and I got to meet Don when I was like starting out as a, as a bit of a fanboy. You know, it's nice when you meet people whose work you love, and um, and it was so lovely that uh, uh, you know, we lost Don a, a year later, and then bit by bit, there's been other people around the world who have been lucky enough to take on like the role of performing that character. And for over here, for, like the UK and for Europe for like CITV and Cartoon Network and toys and games commercials, um, I sometimes am lucky enough to be that voice. And so, um, I mean, that's an example of what I've actually done. What about you? I haven't done any voices. It's only a matter of time? Yeah. Maybe one day. Maybe, Maybe one day. day. We're living the dream. Thanks to Bill. Yeah. So all of us here at Simple Gacha Studios would like to say a massive thank you to Mark. He's an absolute legend. And um, yeah, thank you for voicing our childhood. Um, so yeah, this is the end of the video. Congratulations, you made it all with like the red lines gone, the red lines gone, this is the end. This is the end, so guess, go subscribe, um, because there'll be another video out tomorrow or the next day of all the interviews from the con, including one from Strange Things casts, um, Doctor Who, lots of, Brian Blessed was one of the ones there. So yeah, I recommend subscribing. Also for the cool, cool gacha content that I don't make. I, I'm the guy that just 
does this part. It's fun. Yeah. So thank you, Mark, and thank you all for watching. Uh, here's the next time. Bye-bye.